My name is Ann DeSaro, and I am the Environmental Education Supervisor here at Presque Isle State Park. I work for the Department of Conservation and Natural Resources, uh, Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. We are at Barracks Beach right now on the shoreline of Lake Erie. Uh, Barracks is one mile on to Presque Isle, and if you, you think about Presque Isle as a big arm uh, reaching out into Lake Erie, we're up here near the shoulder where it attaches to the land and it goes out behind me for about another six miles out into Lake Erie. Presque Isle is a really interesting, unique landform. This peninsula sits up on top what geologists hypothesize is a glacial moraine. And uh, Lake Erie and the other Great Lakes were formed about 14,000 years ago when a glacier covered this area. As the glacier melted, the water trickled out and formed the Great Lakes and left a whole lot of rubble in, in stones and gravel and, and um, sediment that stayed in one area in the central basin of Lake Erie, which is where we are now. So the central basin is shallower, and as we go east and west, um, it's, it gets a little bit deeper. On this shallow moraine, sand that, that traveled um, from the waves and wind got caught up, caught up on those stones, and over time it formed a peninsula. And this peninsula is only about a thousand years old, so it's a relatively young landform. Long ago, before recorded history, that would be um, 1640 and earlier, this was inhabited by Native Americans. Uh, the last Native American group that we are aware of were called the Eries Indians, E-R-I-E-Z Indians is the, the term. They were part of the Iroquois Confederacy, which inhabited this region around the Great Lakes and up through New York State. Um, they pr probably used this mostly for hunting, fishing, <clears throat> um, foraging. There were archaeological remains of a site where the people may have camped um, up at the Tom Ridge Center at the top of the hill from where we are now, but it was very rich for fishing, for food, uh, for fruits, for nuts, for seeds, for gathering, cattail pollen, um, you know, abundant resources. Uh, because of most of this land has been washed away and buried and taken away and washed up somewhere else, we have not, we do not have a lot of Native American artifacts. The peninsula, sort of indirectly, was the reason why um, Erie was settled. Back in the early day when uh, European explorers were traveling through this area and seeing what resources we have, this became a very valuable port for military purposes. We were named by the French. Presqu'île is French for almost an island. Um, so the, the town at Erie was called Settlement at Presqu'île before it became the city of Erie. Well, I like to think that Erie wouldn't be who she is if, if she didn't have Presqu'île. We are at the North Pier, which is the main channel between Lake Erie and Presque Isle Bay that way. And this channel connects um, Lake Erie with the city of Erie um, and the port of Erie. Behind me is the North Pier light. And this was the first navigational structure on Presque Isle. And it was managed by the U.S. Life Saving Association, which later became the U.S. Coast Guard, which has a base right here uh, near the North Pier. The reason it's located here is this is the tip of Presque Isle. The, the arm that is Presque Isle, the fingertips are right there. Beyond that, it's all lake, it's all open water. So it's the very edge of a very sheltered area, and it's also the opening to the harbor. So um, for boaters who are out in the lake looking for the light, uh, the light can be seen about 15 miles out into Lake Erie. We also have the Presque Isle light, which was the second navigational aid on Presque Isle. If you look out that way, you can see how low Presque Isle is. The land is very low and it's hard to discern between the land and water when there's no trees on the, the land. Um, a lot of ships were running aground on Presque Isle, so the lights were built to help the sea captains navigate uh, the channel and safe passage. The Erie Land Lighthouse was the first American lighthouse built on the Great Lakes. Um, as this area became more settled, uh, with more tradesmen, more craftsmen, obviously the water resource was used as a livelihood. 
um, for fishing, for shipping, and there was need for navigational lights. So the Erie Land Lighthouse was built near the channel so to guide ships into the port. Back before these lighthouses were built, um, Erie was just a growing city. Uh, everything was growing. More people were moving here. Uh, people were practicing different trades. And uh, there was no way to see where to come into the city. Um, I've heard uh, historical accounts where there were gas lights and gas wells in the city. Um, and the lights confused the ship captains. The ship captains on the Great Lakes, shipping was the main mode of transportation for large goods at that time. There, there were no roads or highways. Uh, things traveled by ship. And so captains could not navigate to Erie because they couldn't see the low piece of land that was Presque Isle. So the sea captains would often come up and they would come aground and wreck their boats because they didn't, they didn't know they were close to land. They were looking at the lights of the city. So the lighthouses were built to help the captains look for the lights to get into the city. And that enabled uh, more shipping to come up, more uh, things like commercial fishing, uh, manufacturing to develop in the city of Erie because we were growing as a port. Industry started dying down in our area and tourism started building up. So we have almost uh, 4 million people visit us every year. The vast majority of those people coming during the summer season, which is Memorial Day to Labor Day, for swimming, enjoying our beaches, for swimming and picnicking, rollerblading, biking, running, uh, boating, fishing, a tremendous amount of recreational activities. Uh, people do visit here year round, um, but the summer is the peak time for us. Well, the Native Americans told a story that was called the sheltering arm. They, they thought of Presque Isle as a sheltering arm to the city of Erie. And um, I think we are intertwined with the city as far as our history. Um, the city of Erie wouldn't have been what it is today without the sheltering arm of Presque Isle, um, both in tourism, shipping, fishing, um, military, base and everything that happened in between happened because of the sheltering armor press guile.